If I wasn't to sing, there would be a part of me that would never be expressed. Um, I guess I would find other ways of doing that, but not quite so well. Because when I'm on stage, I don't know what it is, but there is just a connection between me and, and people, and, and I guess even if there was nobody there, I'd still feel a sense of, of release, a sense of expression that I couldn't get by climbing up a hill or painting a picture or something. There's part of me that is able to just, you know, be released. Couldn't see your face What would the moonlight show Well, we've chosen to go with a performance clip rather than any kind of a concept video because Hoipo is very much about a live performance and ultimately what we want people to see when they see this clip is that Hoipo is about performance, it's about strong songs and it's about a, a vibrant, live, happening, energetic show. Dave had an acoustic guitar and, and uh, I had a motocross bike and, um, and, and we said, oh, band sounds like a good thing, eh? So I sold my bike, well I actually traded my bike on a drum kit and, and, um, and um, dragged it along. I think from the first, from the first time we, we got together it was like we started trying to write our own songs because we couldn't play other people's songs. Well, I got myself a six string acoustic and learned how to play three chords and church band stuff. None of us could play anything. And Hoi Ploi isn't the sort of band that, that, that plays like rock and roll. We don't do rock and roll. We can't, actually, we can't do rock and roll. We're not good enough. But we do. that was in Hamilton, my hometown, and anybody can get up on stage and sing, and I mean anybody, you know, like, there were some really bad singers there, so it wasn't too embarrassing jumping on stage the first time and, and having a bit of a strum, and, and they have this background, you know, music, these guys playing guitar and, you know, a bit of violin and things and drums, and, and they kind of fill in where they know how, and um, I sang Let Me Be There by Lily Newton's John, and, um, something else and they actually went really really well and people responded so well especially because I was so young and they didn't have any young members in the club at that stage so I was kind of the sweet little um, young representative and I used to go out with the, the country music club around the city and, and around the country as well around New Zealand singing with them. My first love song was written when I was 10 and I was, I said I was so proud of it, I took it to school 
and I said to my teacher, I've got this song I've written, I'd like to play it to the class. So he said, oh sure, okay. So I get up there with my guitar and I'm going, if I love you and you love me, oh how happy then we could be, come take me, and all this sort of thing. And um, it was all about romance and getting married and having babies and I don't know, something like that. And he dragged in the teacher from next door and he had a bit of a giggle and but they loved it you know I think they thought it was quite sweet and and there was a boy down the back of the class who was sure absolutely sure I was in love with him and he after I came back he said that song was about me wasn't it I thought oh no I've done it now <laughs> house lights out roll tape and um and Neil should be ready for everything okay. I always I like to try and make a connection and yeah, Go on yeah, stage like Roll tape. with the attitude that I want, I want to be a friend and I want to be seen as working with them rather than playing at them kind of thing. Um, because I think through, through the lyrics that Paul and were writing, um, which I write myself, I want to present a little bit of myself and a little bit of my journey through life, uh, my experience of life through my lyrics. And I hope that in sharing them with an audience, people connect with it and say, yeah, I feel exactly the same thing, and that's, in that case, I've achieved my goal, or, boy, I don't feel that at all. I mean, what are you talking about here? And they start to question, and I think, well, that's fine too. I've achieved another goal. You've got a torch. Fletch, you've got a torch. Can you take us on? You write a song and it's just it's like uh, it's like a drug you know, it's just, whew, <laughs> out of space and um, you know if you written a song in in, in, in an hour it's, it's going to be the next single and it happens like that it's like we want to create our own thing you know our own our own genre of music we, we get inspired by the people who are different the people that don't fit in that mold of of one brand or another so that's it's what Hoi Ploys always strive to do. You know, you, you watch Dave and, and Dave especially and, and Joe as well. You know, they do their own type of instrumentation. They don't follow the normal style. Through the night I The most successful way we've been writing is that the guys are just jamming on something, get a really great riff, and from that I, I pick up kind of a mood or a sentiment and um, just run with that. And I 
it's, it's often just a line that will start the song, some kind of hooky line, and then um, from there I just I close my eyes and I think about it and I just let my subconscious kind of have a bit of a play and see what comes out. It's kind of like like dreaming, you know, when when everything's really quite haywire and you don't know what's going on and then you can look back at the end of it and kind of see some kind of picture and start shaping things up. So. Come to me, come to me, come to me, come to me. The fact that we've managed to stick it out for several years, you know, or you know, five, five odd years as this unit and go through the good times and the bad times together and stuff, it, it's, it's like an extended family, I mean, that's how we do feel, you know, I mean, it's not, it's not all rosy the whole time, but... Um... And I say, if you're committed to each other, then that really is the core of, of your band and your music, because this band's been working together for quite some time now, and the friendships of the guys in the band has gone on even longer than, than the existence of this band itself. And I think that's been the strength of the band, in that we really, really love each other, we really care for each other. And it means that, that you can work through disputes, you can work through musical differences, personal differences, and, um, and kind of keep focusing on your vision, focusing on where you want to go, and say, hey, let's do this together. I think, um Life is a, a big and complex issue, you know, and I think that's the kind of thing that I guess has probably occurred to most people from time to time. <laughs> but we can be a catalyst. I, I don't think, you know, that particularly any one of our songs is going to save anybody, but, but I think it prov prov uh, provokes people to think. You know, I think that would be my, my main thing, is to, to make people sit back and go, OK, what is this? You know, what, what, what is this saying? And Look, there's nothing better than creating something and then someone saying, I love that. Man, I want to take that home and I want to play that on my stereo. That's just the greatest feeling.